בשם השם נעשה ונצליח This week's parsha is Vayechi Vayechi is the last parsha of Bereshit Genesis This parsha is all about blessings Thank God First Yaakov blesses his grandchildren Ephraim and Menashe The two sons of Yosef Then Yaakov goes ahead and blesses all his children And he gives a very good blessing to Yosef Of course and Yehuda gets also a very nice blessing. God, through his prophet Jacob, makes it crystal clear that the, all the kings, the royalty of the nation of Israel, must come from the tribe of Yehuda, Judah. And when Yaakov blesses Yehuda, he says, Chachlili Yain Micha. That there's going to be such an abundance of grapes and cattle and animals that pasture and give milk that the people in the tribe of Judah, their eyes are going to become red from wine, from drinking so much wine and their teeth are going to be white from drinking so much milk. So the, the, the portion and the tribe of Judah is going to be blessed with milk and wine. But the Talmud in Ketubot says something so much more practical and deeper. It says, Leven shinai michalav. You know, when you make somebody smile, their teeth are become visible. So it says, we learn from here, it's a bigger mitzvah to make somebody smile than even feeding them milk. Because a poor person, he really has lost more than money. He's lost his dignity. So if you give him a hundred dollar bill, but you make him feel inferior, even if you feed him milk, but you, you, you look down upon him and treat him like a low life, then that's not really a big mitzvah. But let's say you don't have money because you yourself are God forbid poor or you don't have cash on you. But if you respect the poor person and make him laugh and encourage him and make him happy and give him hope, that is greater than giving even the actual money. So there's a, there's a mind-boggling midrash Avot de Rabbi Natan Abavli in chapter 13. Listen to this Avot de Rabbi Natan. It says, even if you give your friend all the good gifts and delicacies of the world, but you give it with a anger and an ugly face, like you don't look at him, you give it in a disrespectful manner. It's like you gave him nothing. But let's say you give your friend nothing, not because you don't want to, because you don't, you can't, you can't. But you give him encouragement, you give him, like we say in Farsi, you give him chizuk, and you encourage him and make him, give him hope, it's like you gave him everything. So, according to Torah, we, there's a soul to every mitzvah. Of course, when we put tefillin or say a blessing or pray, there's the physical, but then there's the soul, the neshama to the mitzvah. The neshama of helping people and giving charity and giving sedaka is how you give it, not necessarily how much you give. If you give it with a good heart and a smile, and this is in this world where there's so much negativity, just look at the news. It's all full of lashonara. This is such a beautiful and practical thing we could do to anybody. Our neighbor, regardless of race or color, is we could give everybody a warm greeting, good morning, good afternoon, how are you? And make people smile, give them words of encouragement because that is priceless. It doesn't cost us a penny. And this week's Parsha is teaching us that if you make somebody smile, it's even greater than actually giving them necessarily physical, tangible um Benefits. May Hashem help us to always be positive and increase peace, happiness, 
and positive energy in the world. Amen. Don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day.